I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Ace of Swords. And it's with the lovers. Now this Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life. It could be on several levels. Just know that sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. It could be from a relationship, from a job, maybe a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy that's taking you to where you need to be, where you want to go. Now to the lover's card, this lover's card is beautiful, isn't it? Look how pretty it is. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that when this card appears, you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation that's in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is trying to tell you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But it's saying when you get the lover's card, it's safe to choose love. Because it's a time when love could be brought to you, to the center stage of your life, in big, bold, capital letters. So this could be either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. So the recent past energy, Aquarius, between you and your person, Ace of Swords, clarified by lovers. So, I'm getting for a lot of you, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting that a lot of you, yeah, just give me one second. I'm sorry about that. I'm getting for a lot of you, Aquarius, is that um, you cut out something. Something you cut out. It brought you to some great new beginning. And the beginning could have been on several levels. Something you cut out. It could have been a relationship. It could have been a bad relationship. It could have been maybe you cut out or maybe you moved from a neighborhood that you've been there for years. Maybe you cut out bad habits that you had. And it, um, it created new beginnings. Yeah, maybe you were, you used to be a junk food junkie. Now you're no longer a junk food junkie because you cut all that out. And it just changed your life. And it looks like... It looks like it brought you to someone special. Someone special came into your life. Um, with this lover's card. Lover's card can be a, a strong soulmate. Or maybe even... A twin flame, if you believe in that, in that um, theory. Or if you believe in twin flames, put it that way. But yeah, and it was beautiful. Yeah, you could have um, experienced falling in love. Maybe for the first time for some of you. And it just felt wonderful. Yeah, so the recent past energy, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Something you cut out 
And I'm getting for a lot of you, you knew that you had to cut it out. And you finally cut it out. Whatever it was that was not good for you. Or maybe it was okay. Maybe it wasn't bad. But you you knew that it, it was time for it to to stop. And it brought you this beautiful, beautiful love. Yeah, the lover's card is a partnership. It's a deep love. It's the strength of two. It's a coming together. It's a union. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. And it's with the Eight of Swords. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. Kind of like the Ace of Swords. And these are very positive new beginnings. You could be feeling upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. And you could be starting something new. Maybe a new project. A new job. Something new. This could be in the area of work or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really good thing. Yeah, I like the picture of the Ace of Pentacles. I used to didn't like it until I read into it. Because it's kind of dra drabby looking. Yeah, it's the card above the word present. You see how this squirrel, he's sitting in front of a huge pinnacle. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot. That could mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. But anyway, he's in a forest where a lot of trees are. Where it looked like it, it probably rained for maybe four or five days nonstop. And this squirrel is so excited that the rain has finally stopped. And what's interesting is that he cannot find his footprints, his paw prints anywhere. So he's amazed. Like, wow, I get to make some new paw prints. There's fresh land out here now. Should I run to the right and make some new paw prints? Should I run to the left and make new paw prints? Should I run up the pinnacle and make some footprints or paw prints up that way? Because I can't find any of my old paw prints anywhere. So it's all about new beginnings coming up for you, Capricorn. I'm kicking, picking it up, picking up that it's for, especially for the year coming up, 2021, since we're so close to it. You could be thinking of a lot of things that you and your person be, should be wanting to do or the things that you want to do. But anyway, it's with this Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords... It's kind of, Eight of Swords is kind of like a mental prison. If you look at this card, he's, the Eight of Swords is below the word present. You see this man, he's caged himself in with all these wands, with all these swords, I'm sorry. And there's a hot fire behind him and the huge bull behind him. But he's just standing there, stuck in his head. He's afraid to move forward. Maybe this person is afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Maybe uh, this person is afraid to move into the future. Or maybe it's just for no reason at all. Because he could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. But he's just stuck in his head. So coming up for you and your person, Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Zade of Swords. So there's, Capricorn, there's some new beginnings that you want to happen. You want to make happen for you and your person coming up for 2021. But it looks like your person there. They're just kind of stuck there. They're not moving forward with your new, be with your new plans and new beginnings or fresh new starts for the connection. They're just stuck there, kind of like paralyzed. Yeah, it's like they don't want to move forward with your new with your new plans for the connection. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got this Nine of Swords, and it's with the Eight of Cups. Now, the Nine of Swords is about needing to guard against anxiety 
You could be feeling anxious. Take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. Now, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or different than it is. So try to take comfort, try to take joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. Now it's with this uh, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups often means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, job, a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Often, very often, one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. So your challenge, Aquarius, Nine of Swords, clarified by this Eight of Cups. So yeah, like I said, um, you talk, you probably talking to your person about wanting to do some new things for 2021 and they're just, they're not moving. They're just standing there stuck in their head. They're afraid to do whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do. It's causing you some anxiety or it could be causing them anxiety. Or maybe the both of you are having anxiety because you see that they, they're holding back and you realize that there are things that you want to do. Maybe you want things to progress by having some new beginnings put into the connection. So there's anxiety. I'm getting, for a lot of you, it's on both ends because they're stuck in their head they're like oh my gosh why does aqua want to do this aren't things fine just the way they are they they're afraid that you could be you that you might walk away with this eight of cups here so for a lot of you this person is the one who's having the anxiety attacks because there's a love. There's a lot of love in this connection. With the lover's card showing up here. This person has a lot of emotions for you. And um, they just don't, they, they just wish you didn't want all these new beginnings. Because like I said, you got two, two new beginning cards here. So you, there's a lot of changes you want to make, make in the connection. And it's all about doing some new and different and fresh things but your person is fine with the way things are they don't they don't understand why do you want to why do you want to do that aren't things fine just like they are so what's causing them anxiety they are afraid you're going to walk away if they don't get on board now let's see what the outcome is we got the king of pentacles and it's with the hangman Okay, so the King of Pentacles, it speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, when he stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type, could have dark hair, dark eyes. And if it's referring to a man in your life or a person in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe and trust absolutely 
You can believe and trust, absolutely. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is a very, very good energy. This person could be career-focused, secure, and committed. They could be that type. A person that wants to commit. They're, like I said, um, it's a stable type of energy. The King of Pentacles, they're good with their money. They could be good fathers also. Really, really good, stable type of energy. Now, it's with the hangman. Now, the hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroad, one with only two options type of crossroad, such as in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. And if that happens, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, take a look at Take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, a situation, people, or things. Because it's possible. It's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by, be, by being willing to change. So, Aquarius, the outcome, King of Pentacles, clarified by the hangman. So, like I said, your person is worried. They think if they don't get on board with you, you're out of there. They don't want that. Your person wants success with you. They know that this is a strong connection. They got a lot of emotions for you. This lover's card showing up in your reading. Yeah. So they want success with you, but they're confused as heck. They are confused. They're all they're they're, they're in their head about these new beginnings. Because they could be the type that it doesn't take much to make them content. But you need all this. You need you need a new house. You need a new car. You need some new friends. You need some new this. You need some new that. Or... You just got new plans for the connection. You want the two of you to do some more travelings or start traveling. You want to you and your person to start a, a YouTube channel. But your person they don't need all this. They're comfortable with just their day to day normal life. So they're confused. You got, well, you got them in their head with this hangman here. They don't really want to do it. But they, they don't want to lose you either. They want to keep you happy, put it that way, because the King of Pentacles is about success. Your person wants success with you. So Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get these readings, your person could... Um, be If you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person, the other person could be a friend. 
could be a family member, could be a co-worker or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.